My name is Astrid and I am a operations associate. My name, my name is Falcon Graham and I am um, uh, a, a car salesman. My name is Remy Shabomahe and I am the unit director of the East Palo Alto Clubhouse. A, a not a non-conductive environment where students feel comfortable, calm, and have relationships with staff and other students, I think they thrive more and are more willing to put themselves in a uncomfortable situation, which typically is learning or socializing. When students are in a school or an environment where there's constant violence, then naturally you tend to be more timid or tend to be more on guard, which prevents you from exploring. I think violence in general makes people afraid and fear uh, and that's not just for people who violence happens to. If you just see violence happening around you and you feel like, okay, that could have been me, that makes people feel on edge. And I think when people feel afraid, that's when they act out in different ways just to protect themselves. I think people resort to violence because they're scared. They have no other way out. For many reasons. Um, I think youth predominantly resorts to violence because they don't have any other tactics uh, to express their emotions or they feel that they're not in control. So they, they use violence as a conduit to achieve their goals. One of the reasons why I think people resort to violence is because they think it's the only way to resolve a conflict. Um, they feel like uh, any other way would make them look weak and that violence makes you look strong and makes you feel powerful. Uh, but it certainly doesn't resolve the conflict. What I think what happens to kids that commit violence is they either turn to a life of crime, they go to jail pretty early, um, and they don't get the full benefits that, that are afforded to young people. Um, I think students who commit violent acts, I think it's just very normal for students at a young age to act out. And it, it can go any way, honestly. It depends on what the student does afterwards. A student can either learn from their actions and have that support system at home or have resources to learn from that experience or unfortunately the student can continue to resort into violent behavior because they don't have f family or re strong relationships to support them. I think the deeper thing is it puts them in a position to where they're in danger and if that's the way you handle conflict you might do it with the wrong person one day um, and it just gets you into a, a bad environment. It creates a culture of violence. Uh, they start to take it outside of school um, and use it in the streets on the way to school, after school. So now you get in trouble, not only by the school system, now you get in trouble by city officials, right? And jail, things like that. It causes students to be very cautious in where you feel uncomfortable in school environments. Uh, it also creates distrust between peers as well as supervisors or teachers, which then prevents them from learning. Well, different kids feel different things but uh, about violence in school. But I will say this, violence is traumatizing. That means it really rattles with you. It's not natural for us to be so violent. We've definitely seen school shootings, right? Um, and, and that goes even to, to, to verbal abuse and emotional abuse by, by um, officials at the school as well, or teachers, things like that. And when you're in constant stress, then you're more prone to either do a violent act in return or in retaliation, or feel that you are disassociated with the community. But stepping out of that into the real world, I don't see violence very often in the real world. However, because I work with youth, I see it. And so I'll see and experience you know, fights, not very often, not as much as it used to, uh, which, which we're lucky to experience. But yeah, I've, I've seen it, in fact, even just this year, um, students have fought. Now in terms Maybe social media, maybe just a lack of attention, lack of care. Um, it could be a combination of things. Um, maybe the economy is starting to shift and it's like causing a a strain on households. But I think social media does play a part in violence. Now not only are you socializing within school structures, but you're also socializing outside school and you have 
you don't have a lot of literacy for older, for parents or for older family members, so they don't know what you're watching. I don't know how many times I found students at my job or found a younger sibling or uh, younger cousins watching something inappropriate that their parents did not know about. They were just were taught that if you show violence, if you pressure people to 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 obey you or do what they say or do how you feel like they should do, then maybe you'll have control over a certain thing. 